28-year-old Talia Castellano is a bundle of energy. Loves to dance. She loves art. She loves her friends. But about two and a half years ago, a persistent fever stopped her in her tracks. Her mother instinctively knew that it was more than just a bad case of the flu. We took an x-ray and there it was. My tumor was right here in my abdomen. That tumor was neuroblastoma, a rare form of childhood cancer. It was scary. I mean, all the doctors, they had to kind of hold me down. That They had to do blood tests, and it was scary, really scary. Doctors immediately admitted Talia to the hospital and began treatment. So then we do about six rounds of, uh, five rounds of chemotherapy. Then she had surgery. Then we did another round of um, chemotherapy. Then we went for a stem cell transplant. Then she had radiation. I asked the doctor, am I going to lose my hair? And he looked at my mom. My mom looked at me. She nodded, and I started to cry. This one goes with a hat. That's why it's like the bangs are messed up. With the help of wigs, scarves, and hats, yep. Talia tried to make it fun. What did she tattoo on your head? It was a bunch of flowers and snakes and dragons. She made bald beautiful, you know, and she's a gorgeous girl. So everyone said, Talia, you look gorgeous without any hair. Eventually, her hair started growing back, and Talia entered remission. When people would say, are you in remission? She said, no, I'm cancer free, because we never wanted it to ever come back. But neuroblastoma is a very aggressive form of cancer, and unfortunately, 14 months later, it came back. She had a little lymph node near her heart. This time, she needed a stronger chemotherapy and massive doses of blood and platelets. There was a shortage, and I said to myself, a shortage? I mean, the hospital's full of blood and full of platelets. A shortage? I thought they just go downstairs and get blood and get the platelets out of the blood bank. But I had no idea that is not what happens. It made me aware that it's not easy getting blood. It's not easy getting platelets that we need. We need people to donate um, for children, for adults, um, for people that, that need it. Blood transfusion right now. Blood pass. You taking a nap? Yeah, and you see I'm swollen. Yeah. Like that. But you're treating again. That's why blood is so important. Fortunately, Talia did get the platelet she needed and is once again in remission. Her hair is growing back. The wigs are stuffed in her dresser drawer, and the angels she started collecting in the hospital sit on a shelf in her bedroom. Do you feel like you have angels watching over you? We try to live each day to the fullest, and Talia's a Leo, and she's a fighter. Talia still takes oral chemotherapy and sees a doctor once a month. Through it all, she maintains her positive attitude. Now I'm nine, I'm doing fine. I left that tumor way behind, but I'm not nine anymore, so what? Time to make up a new rhyme. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.